girl. Uh, this is for the second grade classes. We, um, a lot of you are working virtually, I'm afraid, and not in class, but I think this is something you can complete at home without too much difficulty. You can use whatever you have in the, um, in the house. I'm going to show you what we use in the art room, but you can always switch it out for something you have available to you. Now, we started our snowy mittens project. Here's a finished one. What we did the last week or so was we made a hat and mittens, and we put some patterns and shapes in there, and we colored them in. Today, what we're going to do is we're going to paint right over this. It's another, it's a crayon resist, which is kind of, which is what we did for our leaves. So what you're going to do is with your watercolor paints, you're going to paint right over your crayon designs. So I did some green in here. It doesn't matter if you go out of the lines because we are going to cut these out anyway. And I spoke to you uh, last time about them being a matching set. So keep that in mind when you're painting. I have the green on the side, my zigzags. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just do the best you can. And I think I'll do green over here. And maybe I'll do some, a lighter green. I'm going to do green for my colors, and I'm painting right over my crayons because they are going to resist, because they're made of wax, they're going to resist the watercolor paint. You can take your time and paint it a little bit more meticulously than I am doing it, but I want to get finished so you can get started. Okay, whatever I do on this side, I do on this side because I want a matching set of a hat and mittens. And I don't know, maybe I'll do, I think a purple. Purple might be good. Do my, oh, it's actually like a blue. And I lost you on my screen, so let me just tap it so I can get you back. Are you there? You're there. Okay, so I'm going to finish painting mine. I do blue over there. I'll do blue over here. I'm going fast. You're going to take your time. Maybe I'll do a purple on the bottom. Purple on the bottom here. Here. Now I have some open shapes. I can go back and fill them in. Maybe I'll fill them in with a deep red. How's that? I'll just fill those dots in there. You'll take your time and you'll make a beautiful painting. Whatever I did up there, I'm going to do on the mittens. I forgot my pom pom. I'm going to get a big red pom pom. Ta da. And I think that's going to drip. Is it going to drip? I think my pom pom is going to drip. Oh no! Ta da. Okay, now I have it painted. While it's drying, I am going to do my face. Now you can use any color that you have available. I have a lot of different skin tones here in the classroom, but you can use anything you like at home. You're going to use your crayons and cut out an oval shape. Now, if you were to think about where the placement of your features are, your eyes are actually about halfway down your head. 
so you don't have to fold it, but I'm going to fold it for you just to show you where to place the features. I'm going to do my eyes here. Whoops, I got something underneath there. They're about halfway down, my features. Halfway down to my eyes. Then for the nose, you can do your nose any way you like. I like to do just kind of like an upside down U that just shows a little bit of an impression of a nose. And I'm going to do my lips. I'm going to put a pupil in my eye. I'm going to put some eyelashes. Oh, aren't I pretty? Then my eyes are blue, so I'm going to paint my iris. That's the color part of your eye. I'm going to paint that blue. And I'm going to do some red lips. I'm wearing red lipstick, so I'm going to put red lips on there. Now, if you're out playing in the snow, you're likely to have rosy cheeks. So I'm going to put some little red, rosy cheeks, like so. Whoop, I can't really see it. When you are finished, you can cut out your nose and your hat. Mine is still wet. You're going to wait for yours to dry. So I cut out my mittens. your time nice and slow. This is going to take you a couple weeks. You don't have to do it all in one day. I'm just showing you all the steps so that if you want to do it all in one day and then take the next week off, you can. But I do want you to do your best work. So now I have my hat and my mittens. And I have my face. And I lost you again. I'm always losing you. And I'm putting everything on a blue paper. You can use whatever you like. Whatever it's going to fit on. And you start gluing down your face. You can use glue stick. And glue your face down. Then you can glue your mittens. And they kind of cover your cheeks a little bit. If you want to draw some hair coming out of your hat, you could do some hair on there, or maybe some bangs. And the very last thing is doing your snow blizzard with some white paint. Come on, white paint, cooperate. You're going to use the back end of a paintbrush. So you can put little dots. Use the back end, not the brush end. You're going to dip and dot and put snow all around your beautiful snowy hat and mittens project. And I 
just realized that my head is floating in midair, so I'm gonna give myself a turtleneck. Let me show you how to do that. I'm just going to draw a purple turtleneck sweater with some lines. If you want to color it in, you can color it in. It's up to you. And I'll have lots of snow dots. There is my snowy mitten project. Now what I usually do is I hang them up in the main hallway so everybody gets to see them. If you are working virtually, you can show me on Flipgrid. If you want to be included in the hallway display, you can drop it off and I can add it to, to the hallway display. But please make sure that on the back, somewhere you write your first name, your last name, and your teacher's name. So that should probably take you to Christmas. Um, and when we come back after the new year, we'll start a new project. So take your time, make sure I see it on Flipgrid, or bring it in better still, then I can include it in the display. I hope you have a beautiful, beautiful holiday. Bye, everybody.